Hello, a pleasant day everyone, and I pray that you are all doing well. By the way, I'm Mel Adrian Odakpano, and you can just call me Sir A. Just a friendly reminder, if you want to go outside, always wear your face mask, your face shield, and of course, don't forget your alcohol. Okay? Don't you know, class, that alcohol is a compound that kills germs and bacteria? Always use this for us to avoid COVID-19. But what do you mean by compound? And compound is always partnered with what we call elements. Before we start, I want you to watch this short video clip. Welcome back! Did you write something in your notebook regarding the video? Did you watch it carefully? Did you listen to it? And of course, did you learn something from it? I hope you all did. Because in that video, we recall that an atom is actually the defining structure of an element and is the basic unit of matter. When we say matter, it is anything that occupies space, has mass, and volume. Matter has five states. Solid, liquid, gas, plasma, and Einstein condensate. So let us talk matter furthermore for you to understand and to avoid confusion. So I want you to look at this concept map. So as you can see at the top, we have the matter. At the right side, we have the mixture. At the left side, we have the pure substance. Let us talk about mixture. What is a mixture? Mixture is a combination of two or more substances. And under mixture, there are two types. The heterogeneous mixture and homogeneous mixture. A very good example of heterogeneous mixture is actually a Filipino favorite. Yes, a Filipino favorite. And that is what we call the halo-halo. Why halo-halo? Because you can see its individual component or ingredients. And aside from that, you can separate the individual components physically. How about homogeneous mixture? In homogeneous mixture, a good example of it is coffee. In coffee, if we are going to make coffee, we are going to put water, sugar, milk or creamer, and then the coffee. But can you see the individual component of it? No. It is in uniform state. That's why it is called homogeneous mixture. Again, homogeneous mixture in uniform state, heterogeneous mixture, you can see its individual component. Another example of it is pizza. So the next one is the pure substance. So let's make an emphasis in the word pure. So meaning there is only 
one kind of chemical property in that substance or a, or a certain chemical combination. And under pure substance, we have two, the elements and compounds. Element, it is, the, uh, it is made up of one certain kind of atom and cannot be broken down further into simpler form unlike the compound it is actually the opposite of an element since compound it is made up of two or more elements for example we have water h2o two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom salt or sodium chloride we have the sodium and chlorine atom how about elements we have uh, gold silver iron so those are the example of a element and a compound did you learn something if you learned something i want you to answer this Fill in the missing information below, write the symbol or name of compound or element, then determine whether it is a compound or element in the last column. So how was your activity? Did it went well? Here is the answer in your activity. How was your score? Is it good? For your follow-up quiz, just visit this link. And then, all you have to do is to write your name or input your name, last name, email address, and then click start. You can get your scores then. So, in, this, in the end of this video, you will see a review in the whole topic. So I hope that you learned something from this video. Thank you very much.